Take a few seconds to watch this jellyfish. Are you breathing better? Do you feel more relaxed? And it just makes people feel very, very calm. To help us understand what seems like an explosion of jellyfish in and around Baltimore's Inner Harbor, we turn to Jenny Jansen, the assistant curator of Blue Wonders at the National Aquarium. It is definitely an Atlantic bay nettle. It is one of the more common species in the bay, and Jansen says we typically see them anywhere from early summer all the way through the end of November. I've had a boat up in the harbor here for a few years now. I think this is the first year to actually recognize jellyfish. So many of us are. They're easy to spot from the water's edge. Bay Bulletin saw two of them close together, moving their tentacles through the current in Canton after stepping off a boat at Lighthouse Point Marina a week ago. Those tentacles are what sting us, but their main purpose is to pull in food. My biggest suspicion is really that their food sources are really prevalent right now. Um, I'm seeing that through, you know, it's like typically, you know, if you've got a lot of food, you're going to get a lot bigger. And we're seeing a lot of them, which means that there has to be a lot of food in the water to support that many jellies and getting to that size. Jansen says what's uncommon this year is just how big some of them are getting. The waterkeeper here in the inner harbor for Blue Water Baltimore tells Bay Bulletin she's also seen an increase in the number of jellyfish this year. She thinks it comes down to a lack of rainfall and also more people are just out walking along the water, looking at nature through the pandemic. Alice Volpita tells us that lack of rain means warmer, saltier water, conditions that jellies prefer. And more jellyfish brought the best business ever for the owners of Nettlenet Boat Pool, which first started 42 years ago. I was to the point where I was considering shutting down the business and then this year happened. David Nolte shows us how the outer rim is inflated with a foot pump. The netting comes out of a bag and drops down eight feet into the water with weighted lines sewn into the bottom. When your swim ladder is in this and this is secured to your boat, you have a space to swim. You're in here and the jellyfish are out there. Based in Millersville, about 80% of their business is in the Chesapeake. Well, we sold almost 200 pools this year. And last year you sold how many? Eight. And I don't think we sold a single pool in Maryland in 2019. While their size might represent something out of a Halloween movie. I have seen some very big ones. Yeah, they're, they're uh, frightening. They are mesmerizing to watch pulse through the water at a distance. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.